Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use WorldCloud's website to make some creative text-based image artwork for social media. So if we open up our web browser, I'm going to go to this website. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description and you can see already it's generated this, this piece of um, art using words. So I've used this site a few times and I find it quite interesting. Um, it's definitely something a bit different and that's what I like about it. It's not your just bog standard sort of images and stuff for social media. It's a bit more creative in that way, and especially when you're using words to design out shapes like this. So let's test this tool out. I'm going to go to my own website and this is my website. I'm going to take my introduction text here and I'm going to go back to this website and I'll click file and paste type text here. So you can open a URL. So you could click on open URL and it'll go to a website and grab text. You can open a text file as well. I'm just going to paste in some information. So I'll paste this content in here and then I'll go back to my website and maybe grab this bit of block of text here, something like this, and we'll paste that in as well. So we've got a bit of work or a bit of text to work with. So let's click apply and then you'll see it will start to draw out the shape and I'm using much more words than it originally used. So you can see the shape is a bit funny. So if we were to start dragging this out and enlarging it, uh, we'll get that arrow shape now. It's got my company name in there. It's got business. It's got website. It's got web. It's got servers. It's got hours and designs and completed and free and projects and powerful. And all these useful keywords that relate to my business in some way because I've used them in the inside the text right in my content on my website. So what you can do here is click on um, word list and when you click on word list you can go A to Z and you can scrub through here and you can see how many well, weighted first of all shows you how many times that keyword was used right how many times that website's been used 10 times and business eight times and so forth uh, if we click A to Z you can scrub through them the keywords and you can look at ones that you don't like so things like don't I don't really want that to be there and good things like happy and maybe July is a bit sort of let's click back here let's click here really July doesn't really mean much right so we can go through these keywords and remove them but probably you'd write your content first before you cut and paste it I've just pasted this just to demonstrate I'll click apply and click close it's going to reset itself and then we can just resize it. and it won't have that word don't in in the content so it's got things like enjoy and offer and created and ensure and all of these these useful keywords so if I click on the shape tool here shape I've got all these different shapes here so you can do something like a cat face and if you start to stretch that out you should get some sort of whiskers coming out of the side here so you can see like the cat symbol uh, and imagine if you had to try and do this in something like GIMP or Photoshop imagine how much time it would take to cut and paste in each word onto its own layer change each word resize all of the words and then lay this all out and then change the color of all the words it's going to take absolutely forever but in this software you can generate this sort of artwork within a few mouse clicks which I find it could be to be quite powerful um, let's click back on shape and we'll click on the bat one here and you can see this sort of bat shape forming as we increase it you'll see more detail and you can just resize it to where it looks really good and I quite like this one because it's got my company name here it's got website and it's got business it's got the three sort of main things sitting right here at the top right uh, that's quite nice so you can click on fonts here and you can change the font impact is quite a good one I uh, quite like this font because it's quite strong and bold and makes it a bit easier to read the text so I really like this one here this is pretty cool and you can go to size here and you can select the size we'll look at that in a moment actually what we'll do is um, actually click on gap size and we can set it to something like four and then the words will be spaced out a little bit more there'll be larger gaps in between the words it's kind of your choice maybe something like two is pretty good you want them quite close so you still get the sort of shape uh, but at the same time there's a little bit more of a gap between the words so if we um, click on the shape tool and go to letter we can choose a letter so if you want something like uh, D for DCP then we get this sort of D shape going on and then you can just resize it and now you get a nice sort of D shape and you got your company details all in there so that's quite nice and we can click back on shape um, and go back to the shape tool here rather than the letters and let's take the Apple so this is kind of like the Apple logo right it's kind of like that sort of logic sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get it to look like an Apple I guess it's the type of words you're using and how long those words are uh, will really determine the shapes. If I use a lot of smaller words, then it will be able to draw out that shape a lot more accurately. Um, so some of these shapes work well, some of them don't work so well. 
it really depends on the words that you're using but something like this maybe uh, this sort of cog shape looks pretty cool as well um, now there's one thing you can do is you can click on themes and you can change the theme color you can just click here and pick a nice color like this one here is quite bright and it will stand out on social media uh, and you've got loads of different sort of color options here you can just click in the drop down you can go for ones that are white background this is sort of like good for sort of it's kind of like the Twitter sort of colors, you know, the blues, the blue and the white. That sort of reminds me of Twitter colors. And you've got loads of different options in here. These are like pre-made um, color schemes that look good, that complement each other, work well. Uh, when you choose that, you can actually click in here and you can actually start changing the colors. So you can modify the background. You can, let's say these are like a dark sort of greeny sort of color. If I drag it all the way down and then click apply, now it will just be a black background. And that stands out much more for me. I'm going to click back on this shape tool and go to colorful and colorful you can see these different shapes in here if I were to click on the bird for example you'll see this sort of bird shape appear and if I start to enlarge it you'll get more of like the Twitter sort of logo or icon sort of shape here of this bird and it's got all of the words all laid out really really quickly and really nicely I like the way that it's doing this uh, the only kind of disadvantage of using these ones when you go to shape and use the color ones here is that uh, you can't change the the theme color here so there's no like default themes you have to actually sit in here and look in here and change the colors here manually so that's kind of the disadvantage of using the shape ones but these colored ones by the way uh, the elephant one is pretty cool as well I quite like this one as well I think that's really done well you know the way it lays it all out um, I don't think there's much options in there to pick out certain words that get highlighted I couldn't find anything like that but maybe if you do a bit more digging maybe you can find how to highlight certain keywords I only use a, a refined amount of keywords and then maybe that would help now um, the other thing that we can do let's actually pick the bat one right that's the one I actually like this bat one and we'll just enlarge it to something like this and then I'll go to the theme and I want a dark theme so I'm going to go through this one because I think that stands out pretty well and we want to save this now so we'll go to size and we've got all these different size options so you've got ones that are specifically for like Facebook and Twitter post and you've got these really high res ones so if you want to use this in some sort of um, video production work then you've got high resolution graphics that you can download as well but I'm going to go for a simple one like 800 by 800 so it's just a nice square image or we could go for 800 by 600 maybe and we can enlarge this let's get it to a right size something around here and then we can go to file and we can save it as a PNG file so let's click save as PNG or you can save it as a JPEG PNG will be will be a bit better quality and it's going to be called world cloud DCP-01 let's click this OK button here and we can download that let's make one other variation quickly so we'll click here and maybe we'll select uh, let's see Maybe like the plane will be a good one. So let's just draw this plane. Something like this. So if you're running some sort of you know agency that, that does flights or travel or anything like that, this would be a pretty good shape to work with. Um, or maybe you're doing an event overseas, then you can do something like this. You have to be a bit creative, but I think um, that one will do for now. Let's go to file. In fact, let's change the colours as well. Let's do something a bit different. We use uh, let's see. Maybe we'll go white, uh, blue, these colors on the white background. Let's see what that looks like. Let's go to file, um, save as PNG, and we'll call this DCP-02 and save that one as well. So we've got two variations now, and we can go to this folder, and inside of this folder, we can just drag and drop these files. So let's drag and drop them into here. And then um, let's just close this. And then we can check these out now. On our desktop here so you can zoom in and check them they're not super high resolution because I've downloaded quite low res ones because I'm gonna use them on social media right so if I want to post something on social media it doesn't really need to be super high resolution so let's try and test them out um, here's my Facebook page and what we'll do is maybe write something like um, need need a website for your business question mark why not get a free quote from DCP web designers and then I'll just put my website address and then I'll go back to here and I can choose maybe 
this other one. I want to go for the white one. Let's drag this one into here, the plane. And then that will get uploaded to Facebook and you can click share now. And for me, that's a bit more creative, right? It's something a bit different. You don't really see this very often. So when you click here, you can enlarge it. You can click on here and expand it again. And you can zoom in and out and you can see this a bit clearer. Here's another example that I did before. So you can see these images here and how they're working on social media. And if you use maybe less keywords, then maybe those will stand out. But business, DCP, website, those are the three main ones. So those are the three main ones that are most important for my company, right? So I think that's quite that's quite good. It's laid those three important ones out first. I assume that is to do with, uh, you know, it's kind of picked those keywords for some reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, obviously DCP is my company name. Business is written in, in these keywords somewhere and website design as well is somewhere. So uh, maybe you can have a bit more control if you use less keywords. Let's try um, and see how it looks on Twitter. So let's go to Twitter and we'll click on the tweet button here and um, we'll do something similar in fact what we'll do to save a bit of time is we'll just copy this here we'll copy it we'll paste it over here let's just put in a hashtag dcp web website design and let's um drag and drop that image the second one was the no, let's drag and drop the first one into here and we'll tweet this as well and now we've got this second version showing on Twitter and you can click on it and enlarge it and then people can look at the information on there. You might have some little hidden messages in there or something like that as well. It's entirely up to you what you do, but I think positive messages or things that relate to your business, something a bit different rather than it just being like a, a bog standard sort of graphic, you know, something like this, a bit kind of standard, although this looks good. Um, this seems to be more eye-catching and I've seen people engage with this stuff a bit more rather than your kind of bog standard looking uh, post. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this, but I think this will be a bit more eye-catching. So that's how you go about using this website called wellclouds.com. I think it's a really good website. Go and give it a check out, test it out and see what you think. And uh, that's the end of this tutorial. So I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.